In this video, we're going to be talking about calligraphic brushes, and they might be very interesting for some of you guys, and others might not be using this brush at all because this brush mainly will be mimicking the calligraphic pens. And probably most of you guys are not calligraphers, especially it really requires training and experience to achieve something with calligraphic pen, even in real life, not only in Adobe Illustrator. So for instance, this artwork in here, I created that one using Adobe Illustrator with calligraphic brushes. And then I've used decorative brushes like the ones you can see in here. I've been downloading them from the internet. You can be downloading vector brushes, maybe like this one, art brush 26 and 5. So for instance, you can be selecting that brush, then selecting your brush tool, and you can be drawing your swirl easily like that. And you can be downloading these brushes from the internet. They are all over the internet. You can be searching for vector decorative brushes or swirls. Anyway, I'm going to be removing that one and let's create our first calligraphic brush and learn how to use it. So I'm going to be moving to that artboard in here. And in this case, we're going to be creating our own brush from scratch. Of course, we can be finding some of them in our library. Here in Artistic, you will be finding Artistic Calligraphic and also some in Wacom 6D and maybe in these other categories. But we're going to be creating our own brush first. So in order to create a new brush, you can be pressing that button in here or even go to that hamburger menu and then selecting new brush. And now you have the option to create either calligraphic brush, bristle or even pattern brush. And here we have our brush shape editor so we can be changing our brush angle from here to make it maybe 45 degrees, 30 degrees or even 90 degrees. But I'm going to be choosing maybe 45 for now. And the brush angle will be depending on the artwork you're going to be drawing or even the font you're going to be using. Because like some fonts might require 45 degrees and other fonts might require 30 degrees. And even some styles might be requiring 90 degrees. So it's totally up to your style. It's the same like how you're going to be holding your pen while you're drawing your letters or your shapes. And also you can be controlling the brush diameter from here. And when it comes to calligraphic brush, the more you reduce your roundness, you're going to be having a very calligraphic brush. So I'm going to keep that one maybe to zero. And here we have the size of our brush. We can be changing the brush size, maybe 25. And of course, when it comes to fixed option, we're going to be changing that one to pressure. You can be choosing that one if you have a drawing tablet. So I'm going to be selecting that one to show you guys how it's going to look like. And let me increase that one a little bit for a second so we can be seeing the difference of the variation from here. So we have the angle set on 45 degrees and we can be controlling the variation of our angle from here. So I'm going to be changing that one all the way maybe to 90 degrees and you will see the difference in that preview. Or even you can try something like that according to your drawing style of course you can be experimenting with different brushes till you find the brush you like the most the brush that suits your drawings and you can use that one the most so for me i'm gonna keep that one maybe on 90 degrees and for size as well i'm gonna be choosing pressure and we can be setting a variation for that one so the stronger you press on your tablets, the brush size will be increasing and the size will be reduced if you're pressing lightly on your tablet. And here, as you can see, here is our highest pressure force. And this one will be our lowest pressure force. So we're going to be pressing OK. And now we have our brush in here. We can be selecting that one. And we can be increasing our brush size using our square brackets left and right to increase or decrease our brush size and if we start going in 45 degrees our brush will be thin like that however if we start going maybe down it's gonna be very thick like that so if we go in any other direction except the 45 degree our brush will be thick so let's draw maybe a shape like that and you can see the difference in here. Of course, we can be reducing our brush size a little bit and trying maybe the same shape. And when it comes to pressure sensitivity, if I start pressing lightly like that, our brush size will be low like that. And if I start pressing quite harder, it's going to get thicker 
and it will be getting even thicker according to my brush pressure on the tablet of course we can be drawing maybe a circle like this one to test our brush or even we can be drawing a circle using our ellipse tool and apply our brush so now let me select all of these shapes in here and clear our artboard and let's go to our library and select from artistic we're going to be seeing artistic calligraphic in here of course choosing a brush like this one round brush it's not going to be calligraphic at all so you can be trying that one it will be looking like a regular brush as you can see so if you would like to achieve a calligraphic effect you have to go for a brush that has a small width maybe something like this and we can be selecting maybe this one in here and of course when it comes to handwriting or calligraphy it's better to disable the keep selected option so I'm gonna be double clicking the brush and you might need to disable that one and keep the edit selected paths so you can be modifying your letters later and of course you can be going maybe a little bit too smooth if you would like to keep your curves smoother so you can be trying that one out as well so maybe going all the way to here a little bit then pressing ok of course you can be typing your letters like that and let me set that one maybe to 0.5 and of course we can be trying to draw maybe the same letter again and as you can see you might be setting some guide for you to draw on so I'm gonna be pressing command R or control R to open the ruler and maybe I'm gonna drag that guide all the way to here rearrange maybe my letters all the way to here we need to transform that one a little bit like that and maybe select that one and rotate it a little bit like that and maybe duplicate that one in here and selecting my brush again and drawing the key letter I'm maybe moving that one all the way to here I'm moving all of them I'm moving these letters a little bit to here now we can be zooming in to enhance our letters even better and you can be selecting each and every line of these to get them either closer or move them a little bit away you can be selecting that one and move it a little bit to left using the arrow key course we can reduce its size a little bit and maybe selecting that one and reduce its size also as well and selecting that one and reduce its size a little bit you can set of course upper guides to make your work a little bit more precise maybe to here and start adjusting your letter and another guide maybe for your caps letters so maybe you can keep your caps letter that size it's a free font so you can feel free to make your cab letters very big or very small or even you can keep all your letters at a small size and of course you can be selecting any of these letters and select your pencil tool and start modifying them maybe like that if you would like maybe you want to draw this one a little bit to inside like that or even pressing command and selecting the a letter and drawing a little ornament like that in here and of course if we select that one we're gonna be seeing that they are strokes we can be converting that one to fill colors if we would like by expanding that one from here anyway it's your turn guys I really recommend that you open Adobe Illustrator and start experimenting with the calligraphic brushes and I'm sure some of you will be creating amazing artworks and they will be sharing them with us to inspire us for using the calligraphic brush even better. And I'll be seeing you in next lesson.